Um, I am here today to talk a little bit more about the um, pain-free performer program that I've put together for this summer. Um, it is probably what I'm most excited about um, ever offering my music community and it really came out of many conversations I had with my colleagues from around the world. So, you know, I've been just like the rest of us. My work life has been in kind of a weird place for the last year. I really haven't been any concerts. There have been minimal um, performance engagements. I've done more teaching than I have performing. Um, but I've also been doing um, a lot of investing in my trainings and my expertise. And so I feel like now is the time that I really have something very, very special to offer my community. And in my conversations I've had with my friends, my colleagues internationally, it keeps coming up that as we look forward into the future, we're all really excited to play concerts together, to like make music. I feel all of this energy and enthusiasm about what's going to happen. But I also hear and feel and um, experience from these conversations a lot of um, anxiety about it. And I created a video, I don't know, like a week ago or something. I, I lost track of time. Um, talking about this a little bit that the anxiety is not necessarily tied to um, like, oh no, I don't want to go back to work. It's really tied more to the experience of the, the routines and the schedules we had when performing took up a large part of our lives. And um, this really spoke to me and really troubled me because I feel like we should just be 100% excited to go back to work <laughs> and share music with our communities and make music together. And um, I really started to reflect on, well, why are we nervous or why are we anxious about this? And a lot of people were saying, I'm worried about how it feels. It hasn't felt like that over this last year. My schedule has been really different. Um, and I'm worried about what it's going to feel like to go back to that and I'm not sure I can handle it. And that really res resonates with me. I have been totally passionate, borderline obsessed with musicians, health and wellness for like a long time, probably mm, conservatively, at least six years, <laughs> if not longer. And um, really searching for what I can offer my community. And when I made this announcement, I got so much positive feedback for this program and what it offers. Um, and it really made me feel like this is, this is what people want and this is what people need. And that, that is awesome. So I just want to say at this point, thank you so much for the positive encouragement and the positive comments and the, um, the feedback that I'm getting already from people who are really excited and interested about this. Um, I have received a couple questions. So today I'm going to be answering those. Um, and these have come through email and through one-on-one um, -on -one sessions I've had with people where we've sat down and kind of talked about what it is that they are interested in and what they want and their personal concerns. So um, one of them is that people are saying, well, why is it three months? Why can't you just do it in six weeks or a month or, um, you know, just make it quicker? And my experience with so much of this material that I will be offering is that we're really invested at this point in changing habits. And habits are not something you go to boot camp for 21 days and you change a habit. Like that is a different experience. And three months is, is a way to acknowledge the process and have somebody there or many people because this is really about a community of people working together to support each other people there to support you on the way to be there to you know if you learn something really cool and crazy and new 
and then you feel awesome about it and then you know two weeks later it feels different but the boot camp is over <laughs> we this is long enough so that you know if we work on a hip exercise and it feels amazing the first time you do it and then you start having questions about it the community is still there to support you and build off of this information so it's really about creating a foundation giving you resources providing knowledge information anatomical experience and embodying a lot of those concepts through movement okay so i don't want to just give six weeks you know blow your minds and then and then you don't really feel equipped to incorporate it into your um, normal typical lives it's also three months because this is designed with professionals in mind and i do know that there are some music festivals and performances that are starting this summer and um, i don't want to take away from that i don't think that you need to take a time out because we've had a time out for long enough already um, from life to address these things and then you go back to work. I really had the thought of creating something that you can incorporate into what you're doing and how you're doing it that will hold your hand along the way. So for instance, let's say you are teaching at a summer festival this summer and you know it's a grueling schedule. This is and you're worried, you know, like, oh, well, if I sign up for this, like, do I have the time to do it? I don't know. This is designed to be as flexible as possible. So it'll be, um, at this point, I really see it as a maximum of three hours a week. In the private sessions that you'll get, they are really flexible. We work with your schedule. In all of the group segments, the movement classes and kind of the group sessions, those will all be recorded. So if you need to tune in later, or you want to reference something again, or um, that day doesn't work for you for whatever reason, you will always have access to those resources. So I really tried to make this as um, flexible and as an accompaniment to your own schedule as this moves forward. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the movement portion. So I've received a lot of feedback um, from some of my, I'll call them my established colleagues, people who have been in the music industry for a long time, who, who are seasoned professionals, and um, that generally is accompanied by maturity and age. <laughs> and there is some concern that like, oh, you know, your handle on Instagram is active violinist and you're going to have me out there running marathons every week and, you know, you talk about yoga and I'm going to have to stand on my head and I know blah, blah, blah. And I don't think I can do that. And I don't want to. And that's totally cool. <laughs> I totally get that. Um, I love having an active lifestyle. Um, I love working out, but this program is not designed to to make you into a gym rat or to make you into some you know really seasoned yogi who's doing all of these really complex poses it's really about how movement can help your music making that's the point of this so most of the movement is about embodying different concepts it's about embodying anatomy we will pull on yoga and yoga traditions. We will pull on Tamani experience. We will kind of blend a lot of things together so that it's more of an experiential, um, experiential experience, does that make sense? It's more of a embodied experience. It's not about pumping iron at the gym. It's not about doing cartwheels. It's not about, you know, doing the splits and improving your flexibility. Yes, there is a certain amount of strength that really benefits musicians, but it is not six pack strength. It is not um, defined bicep strength, <laughs> as cool as that looks on stage. That, that really isn't 
the emphasis of this program. The emphasis is accessibility. Okay, I want you to feel like this movement feeds your music making. That is really the point of the movement. Um, and let's see, I had one more thing to say and I'm looking at my notes because I knew I was gonna get nervous and forget everything. Um, and the final portion that I wanted to say today is I will be checking in every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. So this time every, every week, I'm not gonna be on here for hours and hours and hours just you know, ranting at you about why you need this. Um, but I will say that I love, 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 one more time, love talking about this stuff with my community, with my friends. I love talking about this stuff with people who are um, intrigued but I don't know personally. Please, please, please reach out. Um, Tamani has been uh, probably the biggest game changer in my life. As, as a musician, but extending beyond that. And in future sessions, I will talk more about that and what it means and what it does. Um, if you're curious and, and wanna talk with me, please reach out any way you want, any way you can. Um, you can send me a DM. Um, in my bio, there is a link to kind of sign up specifically for this information. So you'll get updates about um, different specifics pertaining to this course. You'll get updates about some of the cool guests I have lined up. And you'll also get um, updates about more of the details. So this is just, you know, Q&A number one. There will be Q&A two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however many more, where we'll get into a little bit more of the details about what's going on. But I thought I should just address the, the questions that I had already received in case they were yours as well. Um, if you are interested in hanging out with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to meet you. So just send me a message. That's all I've got for today, and I will see you next week. Bye.